Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Sundays are always pretty big days for content inside of FIFA 23, but I think today EA might be going to the next level in terms of some of the SBC content that we could be seeing today on this game. Of course, we expect a new icon or a hero upgrade pack SBC because those drop basically every week on Sundays. But other than that, the player SBCs might be huge starting today throughout the rest of this week for so many people on this game. We're going to take a look at that and more, how the market is going to respond to all of this content and the potential for the dual potential mini release cards to be dropped on this game today in FIFA 23. So if you're excited for it, if this video helps you out at all, hit the thumbs up on it and subscribe if you are new. Now, quickly, we look back to yesterday's content because EA dropped the WSBC yesterday with Gattuso foot birthday icon, 80 pace. They did the minimum on the pace, right? We had to see 80 pace there, but five star skill moves, medium high. This is a card that kind of just looks like fun enough to try and craft over the course of his SBC being out, which is a long time, 90 days. going to be out for three months, basically. And uh, some pretty decent stats on this card. If you look inside of the individual stats, 95 stand tackle, 97 aggression, Five-star skills, fun card to try out. I know it's not something that everybody's going to want to get in their team right away, but I think that's a good price. I think it's a nice upgrade, probably the best get to, so we are going to see this year. So if that's a player you want to get in your ultimate team, go and get that card because it's a good price. I think he would probably be around that price on the market, but 400 k is super duper craftable. Now, yesterday we also had the Foot 20 pack, which don't sleep on this. I'm sure a lot of you guys made some coins off of this yesterday. Since it's an 80 rated squad, you needed 28 chemistry. Anytime there's a 28 chemistry or like something that is a chemistry level above like 25 or 26 and with some other requirements in the SBC, it makes some like random rare golds go crazy high in price. So like Rashford, uh, I saw so many like 80 to 81 to 82 rare golds selling for like three to 4,000 coins yesterday because of that SBC. So check your clubs. Maybe some of those are going up for you because of that SBC containing a token, right? And there's so many people that want to get it done. And then yesterday, EA dropped us even more fodder in the objectives, more gameplay modes to go and get fodder. Whether you're getting the 88 rated cards, uh, like the uh, Kudus in here, 86 Ledley King, a couple 87s for playing draft and winning draft games, or 81 times 11, 84 times 5, another nice gameplay grind that you can do throughout this week. And, you know, it is offline or online draft. And then when you get to the higher thresholds, you do have to do online draft. So you can grind about three quarters of this completely offline. If you don't want to play any games online, you can just go into beginner single player draft, win five games. That'll be really, really easy. Play 10, really, really easy. You just won't get these last two packs. So it depends on how much you want to grind. But that is there, and that is a W, and I like that EA is giving out fodder because, guys, we are going to need it. I really do think that the foot birthday content is about to turn up a notch because of all the leaked SBC players that we have and potentially an SBC that we could see today in terms of an icon or a hero player pick pack. Now, our daily SBC yesterday was Gattuso, right? We're going to get another daily player SBC today. And the earliest leak that we had, right? That's kind of how we go off of like what SBC could be the most, uh, like the next one upcoming is like the earliest leak that we had. And Kunku was one of the first SBC leaks for Team 2. He was the first one that was dropped. Gattuso was next. Now, the next card after those two was Rabio. And if that is the case, today would be a massive day for SBCs because this begins all of the French foot birthday SBCs that are leaked, right? Rabio, Bamba, Toliso, uh, especially with this card, a Hullet gang center midfielder from France with Juve links. We just had the Alexandro SBC that a lot of people did. This SBC right here, I mean, even it could be even be a little expensive today, guys. There's going to be so much hype for a player like this with the Pogba that is in this game, with the Sandro that is in this game, and people just knowing that Rabio has already been a really good card this year at a different time uh, in this game earlier on with this World Cup Stories card, which is now like, you know, 30,000 coins. But if they do a nice upgrade on this, give him five star weak foot or four or five star skill. Honestly, we'd love the weak foot. Maybe make his other, the other one that doesn't get upgraded to five star, make him four or five or uh, five four. But this could be a really, really big SBC today, depending on the price. I don't expect it to be pretty cheap, but it's just a big game, big name FIFA player, right? In terms of the meta, in terms of how people like their midfielders to be on this game. 
This is going to be a card that a lot of people will want to do if it drops as an SBC today. And that's just the beginning, right? Again, like I said, we have the Taliso, we've got the Bomba that could be coming later on this week. All of those could be dropped today, like one of those three guys. I would expect one of them. I think Rabio has the highest chance of happening. So watch out for some of your France links today and throughout the rest of this week. We'll talk a bit more about that with other SBCs affecting the market today. But watch your French links, watch your Serie A links, because if Rabio is good value, just like we saw with Nkunku impacting Bundesliga and Leipzig players, some Serie A and some uh, France players might start to go up as well. Now, moving on from that, other big SBCs today. The 88 plus prime mid or World Cup icon player pick is expiring today. We expect something to replace it. Now, the question is, what is going to replace this? Because this is the first time we've had this exact player pick. Last week, it was the first time that we had it, uh, which makes me kind of think that EA might refresh it once again because the price isn't that crazy. If we go on to Footbin and, and take a look, um, at the price of this SBC, it's around 480,000 coins. And I mean, fodder prices are up, right? You think about this SBC does contain two 87 rated squad requirements inside of it. And 87s are up at 20,000 coins. 88s are at 30K, 89s. I mean, we even know like 91s, 82K, 81K for most of those. 90s are at 64. So the really top tier fodder market is up a lot. But for a lot of the 86s, 87s, and 88s, yes, they're up, but they're not crazy up. But I think this is a really potential, a really high potential SBC that could be re-released today. Um, and if it is, I think there would be still a decent amount of hype for it uh, because people really seem to like icon player picks. And yes, I don't think this SBC is that great of value, but I could see EA re-releasing it because it's just last week was the first time that they had put it out. Now, if that does happen, will you have an opportunity to buy into fodder today, you might, right? If I'm looking at fodder right now, where am I investing? I'm going to gamble on the low tier and hope that EA maybe drop a different SBC today. Like, uh, you know how they had that campaign player pick or the, the year in review player pick last week. But two weeks ago, we had that mixed campaign player pick, right? Where it made 84s and I think 85s go up a good amount in price. These guys at 3000 coins. Yeah, it was a couple weeks ago, right? At, right in the middle of March there when all these 84s were like six to 7,000 coins. Uh, that was a really crazy time for those. I don't know if 84s are going to go to that high of a price this week, but 3,000 coins for these guys, 900, 950 for 83s is ridiculously cheap. And then if you want to go for some 85s, I mean, 9,000 coins for 85s is pretty low as well. The low tier part of the fodder market, even 86s right now, 14k for these, pretty low. I think they're investable on the low tier side. You just have to gamble and wait for EA to drop an SBC that would be a bit cheaper. And honestly, you could see that today. I think it was a couple of weeks ago that instead of dropping an icon player pick, uh, or like a hero upgrade pack, they dropped that mixed campaign player pick and we were all kind of surprised. It was a cheaper SBC. It was still one that a lot of people did, uh, but it didn't impact the market like we thought it was going to. So watch out for that potential today. If we get another icon pack, what's going to happen to the market? You're definitely going to see some people sell some cards, um, you know, around the 500k range and below, right? What you often see is like, let's say the icon pack today, or the player pick refreshes. It's still right around 500k to do. You'll see a lot of cards are about 700k and below panic sold because people will sell some cards to go do that SBC today and maybe in conjunction with a Rabio SBC you could see a good amount of panic on the market so that is really one thing to watch out for today is if we get really good content today that could create a sizable market dip where you could have an opportunity to buy some cards that could still go up in price later on this week after weekend league rewards get paid out and we oftentimes do see that nice Monday market rise so watch out for that perfect storm today to have an opportunity to buy some cards now today also on sunday we are getting squad battle rewards which always brings supply to the market and since i mean look at me man i don't even know what i'm at in squad battles i almost never play i'm in gold three right so many people have been playing squad battles to get objectives done um that's going to bring a lot of supply to the market we saw the same thing happen last week if you're wanting to get on some fodder investments today get on the bids because there will be supply on the fodder market and even on some of these foot birthday cards today watch the market very closely there because that will drop some of these cards a bit lower in price now speaking of foot birthdays let's kind of turn the corner and talk about the market some more in terms of the meta cards 
Some of these guys are down a lot. Bruno Guimaraes, 895, 900K. He was 1.1 mil yesterday. Of course, what do we always see on Saturdays? We see these guys falling off in price as people sell off from finishing weekend league and these cards get supplied a bit more. So if you sold Bruno Guimaraes at 1.1 GGs, I bought like, I think 10 Hummels last night, like right after the YouTube video, right here at about 95,000 coins. Sold them all right around here for about 110 to 112. That was a W move and of course, he is back down to price 75k, really, really low for him. I'm not expecting this same rise on a couple of these cards today. The ones that went up yesterday, I'm, I'm not expecting that really big of a rise. I bought a Werner last night too, right at 340. I sold it at 380, um, right around here. I think I sold it like when he was up. I had it listed overnight, but he is down big time again. He's actually he was 270. He's going back up a bit, but I'm not expecting those big rise like we saw yesterday. Uh, because of the supply that will be coming out through squad battle rewards. So a couple of them might fluctuate, but just be careful with the full birthday cards. If we do see great content today, uh, they could drop a bit further. Now, also speaking of full birthday cards, Sunday is probably going to bring us the mini release. And just like we saw last week with the Darwin Nunez, the dual potential mini release today, if we get Rabio and Ganduzi on the same day, the midfielders on this game are going to drop a lot. I'd be very careful with Bruno Guimaraes. I just bought one myself to try to flip it, but be careful with midfielders. Uh, if we get both these cards today and they're, they have good stats and decent value, there's going to be a lot of demand for these cards. He could be in the mini release today with a dual potential. One card, five star skills, one card, five star weak foot. Ganduzi, um, Mala, the right wing back. Uh, I used to love this guy last year in FIFA 22. He had like a, an early inform I used in my team for a while. Um, and also, I think it was the Euros that he like balled out at a couple years ago too. So those two guys are in the mini release. And then uh, Pessina as well. So a green link to Rovella. That should be your mini release uh, set of players today on this game. So watch out for that dual potential, of course. I don't know if we're going to get any icons. I doubt that. EA didn't include icons last week, but that's something to watch out for. And currently with the team of the week, I think the same thing applies for these cards, specifically the fact that we have Ronaldo in a team of the week this week. Uh, what was Ronaldo's lowest price yesterday? He was down at 170, went to 180. Wow, nice rise. And he's been kind of around 170,000 coins. I think Ronaldo, Son, Valverde, uh, and even some of the fodder cards from this team of the week are going to be very good looks today during squad battle rewards. Or for some of the meta cards like Son and Ronaldo, maybe a little bit later. But... These guys will be really good looks to invest in for a rise later on this week, like the fodder cards, of course, for SBCs. And of course, these meta cards like Ronaldo and Son. I really don't know if a Ronaldo inform has like never risen out of packs. I mean, it's Ronaldo. That should feel like a pretty safe investment. I guess we look back to the first inform and the first inform didn't really rise well out of packs. So maybe uh, we don't invest in Ronaldo this week. But like this Hyunmin Son is the cheapest Sun card that we have had on the game yet this year. And it comes now with his highest rated card with the best stats, arguably, apart from this uh, very rare masked Road to the Sun, uh, Road to the World Cup Sun. So I'm interested in this card, buying even for the club, I guess, at a low price um, this weekend. And then watch out for the fodder again today as well. Some of these guys like 85s at 11K for some of the informs, like Pulisic and Chilwell, that's worth the club stock. Uh, even the sale guy, I pack him all the time, worth the club stock. Morris worth the club stock. Krunich, club stock a couple of these, right? Because even the discard informs last week, all went to about 14,000 coins because of the year in review player pick that we had and the other SBCs that we had. So definitely watch out on that side of the market today with the team of the week cards. And then uh, other content we could see today, maybe another token. I'm not expecting to see a ton of action in terms of tokens. Maybe one more player, um, not player SBC, but one more token SBC. I'm kind of behind on these at the moment. I got to catch up. I think there's a token uh, that is, you know, expiring today. Yeah, foot 17 expiring today. So I got to get that done before it expires. And I'm chasing after that 84 times 40, those two packs, because the fodder is definitely what we are going to be needing, especially with Rabio and all those other SBCs that are upcoming. Now, last thing I want to talk about in the video today is the fa foot fantasy cards. Foot fantasy upgrades are uh, kind of, you know, in motion once again, because yesterday was the first day that clubs were back in action in league games after the international break. And there were a lot of fluctuations. If you got some good prices yesterday on guys like Upa Meccano or Ruben Diaz. Um, these guys are still very invested in. A lot of people have bought these cards 
for potential rises. And since they're maybe not the most hype cards right now, because, I mean, maybe a plus one, like, Uva McConnell's getting a plus one, right, on Wednesday. Ruben Diaz is getting a plus one, because they both won, right? It's not like a double upgrade like we had for the Isak or that we had for the Alexis Sanchez. But a lot of these guys went down, actually, after their games uh, and have now bounced up a little bit. But if there's panic on the market, watch these types of cards today. And I would still recommend selling into the hype. Like Oop McConnell, guys, check this out. Yesterday, he was 502,000 coins. I think this was even after the game a bit. And then we had the content yesterday and everything else. And people just, boom, panic sold down to 440. He's back up now to about 470, right? But the same thing happened with Ruben Diaz. He was about 900 and something. And he dropped down. He was 920. Went all the way down to 871. And then is now back up. So if anything happens today with like Hazard and Real Madrid, even if they win and Hazard goes down, right? I think Hazard is still due an upgrade. He, he hasn't got any upgrades yet. So keep an eye on Footbin on that uh, the live tracker for any of these cards that are going to be in this team today. Uh, or sorry, with their teams playing today. Keep a, a definite close eye on those. Now, the last thing I want to point out really quickly at the end of this video is there has been a leak. And I'm going to address this because... I mean, it's been a, I've seen a lot of rumors about this leak. Now, do I believe it's going to happen today? I don't. But you know what? It's EA Sports. You never know. There's a lot of leaking right now and a lot of rumoring. Rumoring, is that a word? Rumors that uh, a foot fantasy hero player pick or a hero player pick that would include foot fantasies is going to be coming today or this weekend or soon. It seems very early. I mean, guys, these cards have been in packs for like three or four weeks now and we still haven't had team of the year icons in any sort of upgrade packs and SBCs. it seems a bit sus or a bit fishy or maybe just like i said a bit early for ea to include a fantasy foot hero card inside of a hero player pick especially since right now we're inside of a promo that is featuring icons so do i believe this league fully no but i'm just speaking it out there and saying that if we were to get a hero player pick with fantasy foot cards included just be careful because that would definitely impact some of your lower to middle tier fantasy foot heroes. Guys like Morientes, guys like um, Papen, guys like maybe even Marquez could take a hit in price as people would potentially be packing some of these, the lower rated ones, again, specifically, because they would get packed the most. Ledley King, um, the fact that Ledley King is maybe even available in that objective could be part of the reason why his price is down a little bit. Not that much because this is definitely better than his other card, but 350 for this Ludley King right now. Rick and Wright, Crouch, those are all the lower tier fantasy foot heroes. If that player pick were to come out, I think that would make fodder go up even further. Um, and I think it would make these cards drop a bit on the market. But I just think that with the icons uh, kind of all about this game right now, I think EA would release another icon pack or player pick. And uh, I mean, remember when the fantasy foot heroes were in packs? We got that uh, one of five hero player pick with the world cups and the regular versions i think they're going to stick to icons again i would not be surprised if this is re-upped now if they do a different icon pack today that would be sick but there's nothing new in the code which makes me think they might just be refreshing this one we'll just have to see what happens today but watch out for that of course because there could be a lot of movement on this market today also in yesterday's video i mentioned there might be a double upload Yesterday, I apologize, I did not get around to that. It just didn't work out. Uh, but we are just kind of going to be experimenting here in the future a little bit with some new types of content and different types of videos. Basically, we're going to keep the same format, but just more videos. So we'll see. But just kind of an update there because it didn't happen if any of you guys were wondering from the end of yesterday's video. But that's going to be the video for me today. Have a good weekend, guys. Best of luck in your weekendly games. If you're going for Furpo, if you're going for just some fodder and some rewards, or maybe Ronaldo or Son in your red picks, best of wishes finishing that off. I'll see you guys today, hopefully on a stream. It's been Nate Wood Catch you guys there. Peace out. <laughs>